in a violent nature is about a bunch of uh, young um, maybe uh, late teens early 20s uh, group maybe five or six they go on a camping trip in um, the in a remote area of uh, America and they get terrorized by a, a monster that, that rises from the grave now uh, we'll call this monster monster uh, Johnny because uh, we find out later in the in the film that uh, he uh, uh, used to be alive and his name was Johnny and it, at the, end, the opening scene of the movie is uh, him uh, rising from the from the great from the ground so there's a, a wooden wooden hut a wooden a very small wooden hut um, cabin he rises from the ground very slowly he's huge he's maybe uh, six six at least six foot six maybe taller than that he's very bulky very huge and uh, we find out um, later in the movie that when he was a kid um, in the same same town he um, some bad people they lured him to um, um, a hut and he went up uh, and they went upstairs to the hut to play with some um, toys or some candy and then uh, they uh, they pushed him uh, on, on, onto the ground and he died and then, and they covered up they, they covered his body to make it look like an accident and then so he's risen from the grain and risen risen from the ground to uh, exact revenge against um, this uh, town not the same people but he's, he's angry and he's, he wants revenge against anybody who he comes up against uh, the first uh, kill in the movie is he walks very slowly to um, one house there's some kind of redneck guy living by himself he walks into the house and then when he walks into the house the, the redneck guy grabs a gun and uh, he tries to shoot him but the, um, uh, Johnny he's very strong so he grabs a gun throws it away and then the redneck guy he runs out, out from the building and Johnny follows him outside the building and then uh, um, the redneck guy he gets um, his uh, leg caught on a uh, on a bear trap and then so uh, Johnny um, finds him and uh, he picks him up and he puts his hand to his face and then the, the scene cuts we don't get to see the kill but after the kill we see uh, Johnny's hands is very it's covered in blood so he's, he's killed him but we haven't we don't actually get to see how he killed him the next kill is uh the at night time the uh outside uh the um cabin where the campers are staying one of the guys goes outside for like a, a, a just to buy himself some some uh some uh air, air time maybe he's smoking i don't know but he he's standing up, standing up against a tree and johnny comes up uh, behind the tree and uh uses uses a wire to uh um, split open his head and so he's so there's lots of lots of blood coming out of his mouth and then his head is completely cut off up, up until here his head is completely cut off and his head drops off and then you just see his body uh, blood uh, just see his neck uh, and then lots of blood coming out and his body fall, fall, his body falls to the ground and then that's it he's dead that's the second kill the uh, the third kill is the next day there's uh, two two of the girls who are camping they go to a lake to do some swimming and there's two girls they're kind of having an uh, argument and one of the girls uh, leaves and this is one girl by herself in the lake uh, Johnny on the other side of the lake he walks uh, into the lake I guess this kind of he's come some kind of uh, undead monster because he, he can breathe in water so he he walks through the lake and then he gets to the other side of the lake and he grabs the girl who's swimming and pulls her under the ground and he kills her. We don't see, we don't see what happens, but he, he pulls her he pulls her under the ground and kills him. And then you kind of see her you kind of see the water bouncing up and down and then you you assume she's dead. And that's the that's the third kill. Okay, the next the next kill is disgusting. Uh, uh, the, the other girl who was at the lake, she she um, Johnny finds her uh, at the uh, and then, uh, when she sees Johnny she runs away and, and he follows her to the uh, edge of a cliff and so and, she, and then he, he has her cornered at the at the cliff and then she, uh, he uh, puts he he has a hook a metal hook in his hand and he he smashes his um, hand and hook straight through her stomach and all the way through her stomach and then all the way through and then she she uh, she um, turns around and you see her stomach is completely open with the hook inside and then he um, he reaches his um, arm all, all the way through her stomach so he can put his hand, uh, arm all the way through and he reaches up grabs her head pulls her head down from the other side 
and and pulls her head all the way through her stomach so her her head comes all the way through her stomach and it's it's disgusting I, i've never seen anything anything like, anything like that before and then he just and then she's dead obviously and then and then he just uh, kicks her to the ground it's it's, it's disgusting <laughs> a few minutes later johnny finds uh, another uh, two guys um he approaches uh, one guy and uh uses an axe and, and smashes the axe into his uh, leg and the other guy shoots him she shoots him um, shoots johnny so then johnny uh falls to the ground and then he pretends to be dead like i, I think and then uh the other t uh, the other two guys uh, start start to walk away and try to escape and johnny stands up he throws um the axe and uh, hits the um, the guy um, with the shotgun uh, in the back of the head and he uh, he catches up to the other two guys I think the one who with the um, axe in his leg is dead or I think and but the one with the axe in the back of his head um, he he's uh, still alive so Johnny grabs a big uh, big uh, stone a big stone and uh, smashes uh, uh, smashes uh, the guy's uh, heading and you can see his uh, all blooded like psh and then he's uh, and blood uh, splattered everywhere so that's that's how he kills uh, those two guys uh, later on in the day at night time uh, Johnny finds uh, three guys in a uh, in a cabin and he uh, one of the guys uh, uh, shoots him and Johnny falls to the ground and then one of the guys uh, gets just gets up goes close to him to check if he's okay and Johnny quickly uh, grabs him and uh, and grabs his arms and breaks his uh, breaks his uh, um, uh, arms and the guy and the guy falls to the ground. I don't think he's dead, but he falls to the ground. And then uh, Johnny uh, goes um, into the cabin to find one of the guys. He he um, puts uh, one of the guys to some kind of a saw-like metal contraption. He ties him up, and then he puts his head in the middle of like a, a metal um, contraption. And then he usually he winds up the the metal the, the um, contraption, and he squeezes his head, and his head gets squashed, and his head gets cut off his body. The last kill in the movie is Johnny finds the third guy and he, in the woods uh, running away and the third, third guy doesn't really put up much of a fight, he's just standing up a, against the, a tree and then Johnny um, throws the hammer into, into his face and then uses that, smashes the hammer into his, in the front of his face many, many, many times over and over again and, and he can, his face is just completely re unrecognizable, he's just blood everywhere and that's the last kill of the movie. While he's smashing the um, uh, axe into this guy's face there's another i think the last surviving camper is a, is a female she uh, we don't i don't know who she is but she, but she is the last one she's watching johnny kill this guy and then johnny doesn't see her and so she she escapes and she escapes through the woods and she finds a uh, a road and eventually the, um the sun rises in the morning and she goes through the woods she tries to find some try tries to flag somebody down a car comes a car comes and picks her up and says help me help me help me and then in the, in um, the lady in the car uh, uh, what decides to take to a hospital, and they have a ten minute conversation in the car. Nothing happens. It's kind of like a that um, the the girl's trying to explain to the old lady what happened, and then the old lady thinks she's a little bit crazy. Like and it's impossible. All this couldn't have happened. And then um, and then um, the girl is a little bit injured, so that she the old lady stops the car. And uh, and the girls like please don't stop please don't stop something might happen and then uh, and the, and the lady says we need to stop we need we need to fix your wound because you're bleeding very badly so and then uh, they stop the car and then um, the camera angle just um, moves to the the woods and then the, and the end the movie ends so it's kind of like an open open ending it's not a very satisfying ending maybe they're trying to open for a sequel or they're trying to allude to the fact that Johnny might come back and kill more people I don't know but that's the end of the movie. Uh, the the movie I, I did like like this movie it's very familiar the basic plot and the story is of course we've seen it a million times before it's very reminiscent of uh, 80s horror movies like um, the Jason movies the Halloween movies uh, but the the, the the gory kills and the inventive kills are what set this uh, film apart and the and the decision to follow Johnny from behind him throughout most of the movie so it's from his perspective you only see the front of his face in the, in the second half of the movie but the first half of the movie is just the back of his head walking walking he walks very slow so this is a very slow movie it's not a very fast paced movie so you have to be patient if you're, if you're very patient you'll, you'll be rewarded 
uh, but I, this was movie was okay. I I would give the um, in a violent nature uh, three stars out of uh, five.